Namaste, welcome to Brahad Mridang. My name is Nivedita. In the last episode on Sri Ram Charitmanas, through the Jatayu Prasang, we see how Sri Ram is considerate towards the other animal species as well and the lesson in compassion we can draw from that. Today we shall see how Sri Ram Charitmanas has woven the importance of nature, of ecology, inside the story we are all familiar with. So, in the Balakand, Tulsi Das Ji says, Rama siya jasa salila sudhasam, upama bichi bilas manoram, pura ini saghana charu chopai, juguti manjumani sipa suhai, chanda soratha sundara doha, sui bahuranga kamala kula soha, aratha anupa subhava subhasa, sui paraga makaranda subhasa. So, such is the importance given to nature that Sri Ram and Sita Ji's glory, their yash, is being compared to the water of a sacred pond. And later, the chandas, the dohas and the sorathas of this epic poetry are compared to the many-colored lotus, to the pollen, the nectar and the fragrance of flowers. There's another episode in the Balakand where the Sangam of Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati at Prayag is said to be lokopakari, beneficial for the larger good of people and also important from academic, social and philosophical perspectives. So one of the reasons is that Bharadvaja Muni Basahi Prayaga, Tinahi Ramapad Ati Anuraga. So Bharadwaj Muni resides at Prayag. He is devoted to the lotus feet of Sri Ram. But there's more. Something happens here in the month of Magh. It is the month we are now in. Magh makaragat rabi jab hoi, tirath patihi, av sab koi, deva danuj kinnar nar shreni, sadar majjahi sakal tribeni. In the month of Magh, when the sun enters the sign of Capricorn, all the species congregate here to take path in the Triveni of Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati and they are respectful towards each other. And not just that, this place is also home to the Rishi Samaj, the learned people. Bharadwaja Ashram Atipavan, Param Ramya Munivar Manabhavan, Taha Hoi Muni Rishaya Samaja, Jahi Jib Majjan Tiratharaja. And what do they discuss? The nature of Brahma, the precepts of Dharma, the fundamental form of entities. So the larger point being drawn here is that this place, the ecology of that place, becomes the enabler for such philosophical and academic discussions. I think the closest reference would be the winter literature festivals we have these days. The respect towards water bodies continues throughout Sri Ram Charitamanas. Let's take a look at the importance given to River Ganga in the Ayodhya Kand. Ganga Sakala Mud Mangala Mula Sab Sukha Karani Harani Sab Sula Kahi Kahi Kotik Katha Prasanga Ramu Bilo Kahi Ganga Taranga Looking at the waves of the river Observing the waves of the river, Sri Ram says, She is the crucible of everything that is auspicious, Mangala. She brings bliss and takes away all the misery. And later, after the sthapana of the Shivaling at Rameshwaram, what is said? Jo Ganga Jala Lai Chadhai Hai, So Sa Yujya Mukti Narapai Hai. So offering the water of Ganga at Rameshwaram becomes the path to Mukti. And when Sri Ram returns to Ayodhya, the evocation of his Janma Bhumi is qualified by the existence of Pavana Sarayu. Janma Bhumi Mama Puri Suhavani Uttara Disibah Sarayu Pavani. And before that, during the Setu Bandha, even though one arrow of Sri Ram is enough to dry millions of oceans, Koti Sindhu Soshak Tavasayak, Sri Ram's first reaction is to seek the permission of that water body. And therefore, Prathama Pranama Keen Sirunai. Why? Because that is the Niti. So, what is the lesson for us here? 
the lesson is that dharma and ecology are intertwined and respecting nature respecting ecology is also a way of following dharma namaste